this is what we're talking about. These trays right here. Look at these. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at it all. This is nuts. This is locker nuts. That's got to be Judith Ripka right there. It looks just like it. There's a Judith Ripka piece. Look at that. Very pretty. Nine, two, five. I've done a pretty good job sorting. So check this out. I mean, look at that. All that is silver. That is crazy. This entire tray right here is gold. All right, Locker Nuts, are you ready? I've got an exciting video. I think it's gonna be exciting. It is our jewelry score. We're gonna take a deep dive into those bins that I found in the locker. All right, first up, if you don't know which locker I'm talking about, it's probably the best locker we've ever bought. All right, and what's even more crazy that we bought it for just a dollar. It's so exciting, really. We found great stuff, like tagged high-end merchandise, some of it on the table back here, the Eileen Fisher stuff, we're gonna be selling that in our upcoming auction. Um, we found just super high-end kitchen stuff, and of course, jewelry. And the first episode that we went through jewelry was all from like a laundry basket. You know, there's a jewelry box and just tons of gold, tons of silver, tons of designer costume, great, great stuff. But then of course we found uh, more jewelry, right? And um, that's what we're gonna be taking a closer look at right now today. Are you guys ready? I've been waiting weeks to do this. Why did I wait so long? <laughs> I just am tremendously busy. Every single day I am so busy, I'm overwhelmed, but we gotta get to it. We gotta get to it. I want to see how much gold we got. I wanna see how much silver, and we wanna start selling this stuff in our auctions. Let's get into it right now. Okay, this is what we're looking at. This is what we're talking about. These trays right here. And uh, yeah, this one looks like it's mostly costume. But we'll go through it. Okay, we'll go through everything. Look at these. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of those size trays. And then we got four here, a little bit larger. I think these ones came out of a different box. And those ones we already looked at, but we'll go through a little bit more. And then, of course, we have this bag right here. Uh, really interesting. I think that's the glasses in there, but this organizer here is just coming. It's, it's deteriorating. It's obviously been in here a long time. It's too bad this is Joan Rivers, uh, but the, the organizer's coming apart. So we're going to have to take all this jewelry out. But it looks like we got some decent stuff being stored in there. All very, well, it was very organized. Look at that. Tons of stuff. Okay, well, we'll take it out. We'll go through it. Just want to give you a shot of this because once it's out it won't be the same i'm really excited here guys this is fun <laughs> okay i couldn't help myself i had to lay it all out on the table so we can get a shot like this this is incredible look at this oh man there's so much jewelry here crazy <laughs> oh man you guys okay let's do a little bit more panning over so these ones here we went through on camera i'll go through them again i know there's a little bit of gold in there uh these i have no clue okay these i have no clue i think i pulled one ring out so far that was gold and uh i know they're silver i i saw judith ripka for sure this stuff is really pretty oh wow look at it all this is nuts. This is locker nuts. That's got to be Judith Ripka right there. It looks just like it. There's so much stuff here. Oh, man. I was hoping there'd be more Judith Ripka bracelets. Those were really popular in our auction. I don't see too many more here. I see a lot of necklaces and stuff, though. Man, oh my goodness, this is going to be like a hour-long video. There's so much stuff. No, I'll get it going, guys. We'll get going, move, moving a lot faster. I just have to take it all in. Incredible. And that's not including that that bag. Let's take this out. There's actually pieces out of there. Oh, <laughs> look at this. 
That's nice right there too, just right out the gate. This is just a loose one that fell out, floating around in the bag, this right here. Really, really nice. We've had these before in a different locker. Oh yeah, that's Joan Rivers, that's Joan Rivers. This is uh, part of her bee collection, I think it's called, bees. We found some of these before. These are really, really nice, really nice, really nice. Love that stuff. Another one just floating around in there. What is this? This is another really nice bracelet. Rose Flores. Look at that piece. Very nice. All right, there it is. That's everything just out of the Joan Rivers bag. And that bag produced quite a bit of stuff. Look at this, we got lots of bracelets. We got earrings. I, I don't think this is, maybe there's some Joan Rivers in here. That's so cool, huh? Um, I know we have some Joan Rivers. I don't think a majority of it is Joan Rivers, but I'll have to take a closer look. This was in a bag right here, and I think this matches one of the other pieces that we got. JBK right there. Bracelet. That thing's so pretty. We had another one. Very much like that. Yeah, but look at this. I, a lot of snakes and animals and stuff. And those are so cool. So cool. I don't think there's any um, gold here. But we're going to take a closer look. Um, That's what I'm going to do right now. I'll take magnet to stuff and I'll look for marks on it. But I think this is going to be some great stuff for our auctions. This is going to be some great, great exciting auctions all right and his little shell here this is nice stuff it's not cheap that's for sure this is not you know putting a one gallon ziploc bag and sell as a jewelry bag this is definitely nicer stuff than that this is put on trays and sell a few pieces at a time and what's that a b see that a b on that one nice this is another really nice one right here wow Couple bracelets right here with some coins, but I think these are, I don't know if those are real coins. They're uh, foreign if they are. And this is supposed to look like gold coins or something. It's just pretty, it's just costume though. Right there's another KJL. We've seen that name also on this one, a little shell. This one's neat too. I don't know why, but I kind of like the animal stuff. That is pretty. That's Joan Rivers right there. Very nice. I don't know what this one says. It definitely says 925, but it says something right above it. Can't quite make that out. See that? Do you guys know what that says? Put it in the comments if you know what that is. It looks like bat, B-A-T. Really hard to read. Or bow, B-A-L. It's a pretty piece. I didn't think it was silver, but it definitely looks like it's tarnishing, similar to how silver turns. It's, that is a pretty piece. Okay, guys, here's the first uh, summary. All right, we got all that stuff on trays. Pulled out a few items out of another tray, one that we already went through on camera, uh, a lot of this stuff. So it looks so good when it's laid out like this. And it is good stuff. It's actually really, really good stuff. So um, let me just show you real quick. This right here, tray is Kenneth Lane, right? Yep. All Kenneth Lane. Beautiful. This tray right here, all Kenneth Lane. All of this stuff. Look at this. It's Kenneth Lane. It's enamel. It's so beautiful. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And this octopus pin, we'll have to look that up. That might be worth that one. something more. It's gorgeous. Kathleen's a good brand. And then back here, more enamel bracelets. All this is Kenneth Lane. Mm -hmm. Okay. This tree right here is all 925. It's all marked 925. Various pieces. I think we got one. We got to find the matching earring on this one. But everything else is uh, 925. Spectacular stuff there. The bracelet is the highlight, I think. That's pretty cool those, with the coins. It's a 925 chain, so I wasn't sure if those coins were real. Now I think they definitely are real. This right here, I don't think we have cost uh, designer names on them, but it's all really nice pieces, all in excellent condition. Back here, we've got costume pieces. Really nice. I think it's high end stuff. This one, we looked at it before, it's AB. I'm still not sure what the name is, but that's a quality piece. 
This wood one right here. Escada. Escada. That's a good brand. Mm -hmm. Nice. This tray right here is all Joan Rivers. Every one of these pieces is Joan Rivers. Nice stuff. But I do have to say my favorite is going to be this little bee. <laughs> we love those. Hopefully we find more. All right, I'll get back in and do the rest of that jewelry in just a little bit. I'm going to take a little break and go down and get something to eat. And I hear there's something special in town, so let's check it out. All right, we're just in downtown San Ramon here. We were at this, what's called the city center. This was built a couple of years ago. We, we've shown up here a couple of times in the videos, but not that often. Uh, really nice place, really cool place. But today is Saturday, and they have a uh, and they have food trucks here. So I'm headed down to see if I can find me a lobster roll. guys i'm back at the house and check out what i got i got first of all root beer it's a uh, made in maine apparently so i don't know it's four dollars and fifty cents it better be a dang good root beer and then here's my 19 dollar lobster roll yowza 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 oh it looks good though it that's some healthy portions of lobster right there but 20 bucks mm. all right i knew this is going to be a special occasion all right, let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's actually really, really good. That's a $19 sandwich. I've had the lobster rolls before. They're always good. I mean, come on, you can't, how can you mess up lobster? But this is a good lobster and it's good bread. It's actually like a hot dog bun, mayonnaise. Mm. So Cousins Main Lobster, I guess they're on a Shark Tank or something. I don't know. All I know is that's good. This is not a paid sponsorship of theirs in any manner. Janet just said, hey, the lobster roll people are down at the farmer's market today. Might want to swing by. I did. And I guess basically that makes this tax deductible. This lunch is provided by Uncle Sam. Thank you very much because this is a product review. Fully tax deductible. And that makes it taste even better. <laughs> All right. Let me crack this open. Yeah, that's good. It's good. That's a good root beer. I've had better, but it's pretty good. All right, pretty good. $4.50 root beer? No, I don't think so, but pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. All right, well, let me finish this roll up and we'll get back to the jewelry. So we, we've got these trays right here. I, I honestly don't even know where to start. There's so much jewelry. Do I separate it by silver and gold? I think I do that. And then do I separate it by costume, uh, designer rather? Yeah. I think that's the best. I don't really know. There is a tremendous amount. And how much do I want to show on video? <laughs> well, right off the bit, the gate right here, there's a Judith Ripka piece. Look at that. Very pretty. 925 necklace. Whew, man, that's a good start. I see a lot of good stuff in here. Here's a Judith Ripka. These all look like Judith Ripka. This one does not appear to be. This could potentially be. All right, let me do this. Oh, look at this. A little coin in there. That's pretty cool. All right, let me go through this off camera and start getting it a little bit sorted. I'll update you in a sec. All right, guys, this is already getting out of hand. This one little tray produced all that you see here. Plus, here's a few other pieces. I've got to identify these. These, I'm not sure what they are. I'll have to test them. These appear to be silver, but I don't see a 925 mark on them. But there's a few that I'm going to put aside. I need to spend a little bit more time on those. This is all Judith Ripka silver. That is all Judith Ripka silver. The little uh, pendants. This is all 925. 
<laughs> Sorry, I just think it's funny. It is almost all good stuff. This is all 925 silver. Obviously, there's some beads in here that aren't, but these are marked 925. All right, they're Vermeer. And then this right here is a designer piece. It's got that mark we saw it on some of the earlier stuff. It's AB. AB is the designer initials. I forget that designer, but this is a beautiful piece. Also, look at those stones. Really nice. And then we've got this. We got a little bit of 14 karat gold. All right, just a few pieces. This right here is cubic zirconium. This I think is cubic zirconium. But these I'm not sure what they are. This must be cubic. This I don't know, but these are 14 karat gold. So I usually only put nicer stuff in gold, set in gold. So we got a really good start. I can't believe this one box fills all those trays like that. How am I gonna get through all this, guys? I mean, in a video and make this comprehensive, I don't know. I don't have enough room for it all. Let's start on this next one. Looks like we got a lot more silver, potentially Jutherpka. Oh man, this is more good stuff. Okay, this is getting kind of crazy. <laughs> a good crazy. This is basically the non-precious stuff right here out of that entire tray. Three pieces. And they're still nice, nice costume. Now, I've been adding to the tray from the last one. But this is all the 925 Vermeer silver. Judith Ripka didn't add. I add a couple pieces over here and a lot of pieces over there. All of that 925 silver. And then the good news is that our gold tray, I added three more pieces here. These are 14 karat. Let me get all the gold laid out as I go through them and we'll take a closer look at them. But these st stacks are starting to build. And then also I have a little bit of stack here that's starting to grow as well, which is stuff I need to look at a little closer just in case. I don't think it's precious, but there's a couple silver pieces. The other ones I got to check. Let's crack open this third bin and see what's in there. Another great box with almost nothing like of low value, I'd say. This is all turned, this now is a Vermeil box. This is now a Vermeil box or Vermeil. The gold silver, all right? All these two right here are 925. This is all now 925, okay? And maybe most importantly, our 14K bin is starting to grow and we even found a couple of 18K right there. But we're not done. In fact, we're far from it. Oh, this one's rings. I'm gonna save the rings for last though. Next one up will be this. It's more earrings. I'm gonna get started. Next box. Hmm, I don't think there'll be too much silver in here. Maybe a couple pieces right here, but we'll go through it. Next box, next box right here. This one looks interesting. Next box, they're all kind of starting to look the same. Lots of gold, gold colored anyways. Most of what I'm finding, I'm seeing the majority probably is 925 Vermeer. Uh, there is a little bit of 14K, but I'll update you on all that at the end. Right now I'm still going through, but we're finding good stuff. Next bin right here, next bin. Hmm, looks like some Judith Ripka stuff in here. All right, next bin. This looks like all beaded necklaces and stuff. I might not go through this right now. I'm looking for the precious metals right now. I'm trying to separate. Well, there's a Joan Rivers. Maybe I will go through this because I am separating by designer as well. We'll get through this. Right. Next bin. Oh, that's right. We did go through these already. These have, I think, some like pearls. Yeah, pearl flexion. Pearl flexion. So let me go through the rest of this and just double check now that I've got my loop in good lighting. We'll see if there's any silver in there and get it lotted up. Let's see some good stuff in here too. Here's the next bin. Oh, we're getting through it. We're getting through it, but this is crazy, right? Here's the next one. There are so many bins. That last bin was really nice. All those beads were Joan Rivers. Those are cool, but the, oh, all the little stuff was gold. Most of it was gold. All right, this one looks mostly like beads. Next bin looks pretty good too. Okay, okay, we are through with those trays. Now I'm gonna take another pixie and these. Uh, we went through those in on camera already during the initial find. You know when I first found this stuff. I'm gonna go through it again just to get it sorted, and then we'll take a <laughs> we'll take a summary of everything. It's it's really adding up. It's awesome. Okay. Now this container right here, and then, and this one we also look through. Oh, this one has the Invicta watches. Okay, this is gonna be a quick, quick dig through there because the watches are something different. We're looking for silver and gold. The watches are not it. Then we'll get to the rings. All right, guys, I've done a pretty good job sorting. Haven't got to the rings yet, but let me just update you what I got here because tables are getting kind of full. And this is good stuff. Okay, so right here, 
you guessed it, silver, all this, 925. All four of these trays here, 925. This section right here is all Judith Ripka, as well as the first half of this one here. Oh, that's Judith Ripka, and Judith Ripka is very high quality. But all of this, all of this stuff is marked 925. And I know it looks kind of messy stacked here. I did stack all these gently on top of each other. We're just, I mean, what a great problem, right? Too much jewelry. <laughs> Not enough room in trays. I probably should have ordered more trays. Okay, she liked her silver, but not only silver, silver, also gold silver. This is all verme, right? Verme, 925 silver. So it's gold, like gold plated silver. These are some earrings over here. More 925 verme silver. All of this. All of that silver. Can you believe that? So check this out. I mean, look at that. All that is silver. That is crazy. That's not including all the silver we've already found and sold from this locker, right? Um, then this, this is a little bit better. This is gold. This entire tray right here is gold. All right, maybe we're gonna come back to this and look at this in just a second. We'll go through that gold closely, closer, and we'll also weigh it. This is interesting here because I think this is all turquoise, turquoise stones, and if I'm right, this is some big money stuff right here. These two pieces here have silver uh, clasps, 925. This is uh, this is some nice stuff here too. Definitely don't want to short that, don't want to discount that. This piece right here is a little different. Um, looks like it needs to be polished up a bit. You see the little heart stone in there. And what's interesting about this set is marked stainless steel, 14K, I think, and 925. So it's got a combination. I think the plate here, the circle, is stainless. The chain is 925. And then the little surrounding around the gem there is uh, 14 karat, I think. Or maybe it's 18 karat. Actually, I think it's 18 karat. Crazy, huh? That's, that's a little different. This back here is all designer costume. Various designers. Okay, I'm just going to put it aside. We'll probably sell these in one of our upcoming auctions just because um, I like to clear out that kind of miscellaneous stuff. Over here, two trays full of Kenneth Lane. Kenneth Lane makes some really nice costume jewelry. And both of these trays are, uh, they're pretty full. <laughs> all right, both of them. There's a lot of pieces between those two bins. And then over here, we have also two bins of Joan Rivers. This is mostly like beaded necklaces. And that's miscellaneous stuff in the tray there. That's all Joan Rivers. Then over to here, we have stuff that is not marked. So just costume jewelry. Nice stuff, but not marked. Same with this. Nice stuff, not marked. At least it's not marked silver or gold. And it's not marked with the designer name. All this stuff. So we'll figure out how to make these into lots. Really nice lots. Here's a little piece right here, a necklace. Not marked, also in the costume. And here's a bunch of beaded necklaces here yeah i think they're all beaded necklaces not marked all right all that'll get sorted out into lots this tray right here is all miscellaneous pieces that i could not find markings on but i gotta tell you my eyes are starting to get tired i looked at every single piece on this table with the loop today and my eyes are actually starting to get kind of hazy some of the pieces like this one right here definitely look like they could be gold. So I got to be kind of careful with them. I'm definitely hopeful some of them are gold, but I'm fairly confident there's at least a good amount of silver on this table. But I'm going to have to test it and look at it a little bit closer. This stuff I'll come back to. All right, so I'm going to start clearing the table here. I got to put this stuff aside to make some room so we can go through these rings. I definitely know there's silver in here. I know there's at least a little bit of gold. I'm excited to look in here. All right, guys, now for these. Ooh, this looks good, too. Okay. I think there's some earrings in here, too, but uh, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's all rings. <laughs> oh, my, my. There is a lot. And look at that. Start it right there. Judith Ripka. Yes. That's awesome. So pretty. Okay. Oh, these all look like Judith Ripka right here. Oh, these all look like Judith Ripka right here. That's a Judith Ripka. You can really tell because it's got, she's got that signature, like it's a Florida Lee cut out on the insides. So very pretty. And this is all her stuff. At least not everything we found is 925. All right, so that looks like gold, but that is silver. 
gold, silver, vermeil. All right, it's marked 925. It's definitely a little different. It's cool. Okay, so here's a KJL. It's Kenneth Joy Lane. You can keep all the designer stuff together. This one is marked Beleza. That's another designer piece. And the only thing this one is marked is China. Doesn't stick to a magnet though. It is pretty nice though. It's pretty cool. It's a nice stone. Another KJL right here. Kenneth Joy Lane. Another Kenneth Lane right here. This one right here is also marked 925. That's cool. That's 925. 925 silver. 925 silver with cubic zirconians. Another 925 silver with cubic zirconians. <laughs> okay, that's a 14 karat white gold right there. Hoo ah. Yay me. That's 14k. All right, that's that's lovely. Now that's what I'm looking for. That's what we need to find a little bit more 14k. It's another 925 silver. 925 silver. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Thank you so much for watching the video. I don't know if it's boring watching me go through jewelry. So the 925 silver, that's a very different piece. But um, just to make sure that you all know, we do auctions on our YouTube channel. Another silver piece here with cubic zirconians. And we're live every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. 5 p.m. Pacific. It's another silver. Gold silver. This piece is interesting. It says Vita or Vita right there. See that? Um, it says made in Italy right here. There's a little marking on the inside. Can't quite make it out. Let's see if we can get it in the camera. Uh, I think that's a nine or a six. That's just to deal with the size. Hmm. I don't think this is precious metal. I don't think it's silver or gold. It's kind of nice though, but I'll have to put that one aside, unfortunately. Another neat one here with a stone, but the only marking I can see is says China. No, uh, no 925 or 14k or anything of that nature. Yes, if you guys like this stuff, if you like what you see us finding, definitely swing by our auctions. Man, this one is super pretty. Bummer though, it's got a little broken turquoise right there. And one right there too, dang. Yeah, it does say 925 in there, so this is a silver piece, but bummer on this broken stones, that is otherwise gorgeous. Yeah, but if you guys like this stuff, if you like what you see coming out of the locker here, We'll be selling off pretty much everything except for the gold. We don't really sell gold. We might sell a few pieces, uh, but usually I keep the gold. I do think gold's going to go up in value. There's another designer piece here. No, no precious metal markings, but that's pretty nice. Another designer piece here. That's pretty groovy. Another designer piece, I think. Very pretty. Another 925. Oh, that's pretty. Look, that's all like wavy too. <laughs> oh, yes, it says 14K. Oh, yeah, that makes me happy. Here's another silver, gold silver. There's another one. It's re these are really pretty. Here's another one with a stone of some sort. Another really pretty one. And right here we got three very similar, just different colors. It's either to match your outfit or you have a different one on each finger, I don't know. Oh, these are Kenneth Lane. <laughs> nice stuff. There's another silver, that was really cool looking. I can't read the maker on that, but yeah, that's a little different too. It's like plastic. In China. Another Kenneth Lane. And here's another plastic one. That actually says 10K gold in there. So I think it's just that little piece of gold right there. That's probably a turquoise. So that's neat. Right, look at that. That's pretty. It's enamel. I don't think it is uh, gold. It's got a little signature in there for. Yeah, you see that right there? The maker. That's nice. And that is silver right there, but look at that. That is beautiful. You know, the silver with beautiful stones is cubic zirconians, but I'm not sure what that is in the middle. That's gorgeous. 
Oh, nice. This is Israel 925. So that's Israel silver. Very nice stuff there. There's another silver. This gal really likes silver. And I like that about her. <laughs> I am okay with that. Okay, this is something interesting here. It's pretty heavy. And it's got a marking in there. It says something. All I can read is KT, carrot. I can't make out what carrot, though. Can you see it in there? I don't know. I might have to test this one. Over here it says Italy. Right there it says Italy. But over here, KT, that that is probably gold right there. And if so, it's very heavy. That's a nice find. I'm very interested in that. Silver. I was about to say silver. But nope, that's 14 carat right there. Ooh, that's nice. That's 14 carat right here, guys. And I don't see any markings on it that says CZ, which doesn't mean that it's not, you know, a CZ. It could be a, still be a CZ, but if it's marked CZ, it definitely is a CZ. What if that's a diamond right there? <laughs> uh, that would be worth some money. There's a 14 carat. Great piece. All right, now that one is a Judith Ripka. There's another Judith Ripka. I think we have a lot of Judith Ripkas here. That's another one right here. That's not a Judith Ripka, but very nice 925 silver ring. Another Judith Ripka. Another Judith Ripka, and that one's pretty. We looked at that one earlier, and that's definitely a Judith Ripka. There's another one. And another one. There's a um, 925 silver. This one's by Takori. That's a cubic zirconian. Another Judith Ripka. Another Judith Ripka. Another Judith Ripka. Judith Ripka. <laughs> like I said, there's a quite a run of those here. And here's another. And another. Da da da. Da da. Another Judith Ripka ring. Another. Yeah, maybe there's some duplicates. They're starting to all look, kind of look similar or the same. Here's another one. Here's another 925 silver, and it's marked RP. Designer mark RP. There's a little tiny, tiny, little baby 14 karat gold chain. It is tangled up. Oh, these little chains are so, they're just kind of a pain. I might just put that in scrap gold. 14 karat. All right, that'll do it for that tray. I'm going to put these pieces actually back in. These are all designer costume stuff. They're really nice, but we're really trying to separate the precious. There's all the silver over here. There's the Judith Ripka silver, and there's the gold. But we got another tray. <laughs> and this is the last tray, and then we're down to it. And down to it meaning that's that's it for the jewelry. Um, but we still have a little bit of kitchen stuff to sort out in this locker. That one, there's a 925. Come on, gold. That's what we're looking for. Okay, this one is marked 750. 750. I think that is 14 carat. I'm going to have to double check it. No, that might be 18 carat, actually. That might be 18 carat. I'll have to double check. But that's good. That's really good. That's gold. This one right here is 14k. Okay, that's really pretty. Those are CZs though. All right, another Judith Ripka. Another 925. Hope you guys aren't getting bored. I could do this all day long, really. There's 925. Another 925 to Corey. Another 925 with cubic zirconians. 925. There's Kenneth Lane right here, a little designer piece. 925. Man, 925. I was really hoping that one was solid gold. 925. 925, that's cool. 925. I'm fairly certain this is 925, but I'm having a hard time seeing it. That just says CN. I'm having a hard time finding the markings on this, so I'm going to have to put that aside and look it up just in case that's gold. Look at this one. This is 925, but this piece right here rotates. That's a little something different. 925 with cubic zirconians. 925. 
Ooh, this one. Those are cubic zirconians, but that's 14K. No way. You don't say. 95? Ooh, this one I think we already looked at. I'm pretty sure this is gold. <laughs> 18 carat. Made in Turkey. Yes. Does that fit my finger? <laughs> Here's another 18 carat turkey. And I meant it was made in Turkey, not that it was a turkey. I wasn't dissing on the ring. This one right here is 925. Oh, snap. We are on a roll. 14 carat. It's all coming out of this little tray right here. It was a 925. Dang, that's another 18 carat right here. 925. 925 with the cubic zirconians. 925 right here. Look at this one. 925. That one's cool. It's 925. Here's another one that I'm a little baffled about. I don't see any markings. Well, I see a marking for the designer or whatever. See that in there? That is pretty. 925. This is getting out of hand. There's so many good rings. Oh, man. 925. 925. This is a Judith Ripka 925. I haven't found Judith Ripka in a little while. It's nice to see you again, Judith. Another one. And another one. 925. Look at that one. That's a little different. It's 925. Another 925. Another 925. Whew, another 925, man. Another 925. Another 925. Another 925. How about we break it up and let's find a gold one? Just to, just for fun. Another 925. All right, there we go. I didn't even try to look for it, but there's a 14K with cubic zirconian. Beautiful. 925. Ah, that one's missing a stone right there. That's too bad, but this one, I don't see any markings on it. I'm gonna put this one aside. Nine, two, five. Nine, two, nope, psych, 14K. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say 925. Nope, not this time, that's a 14K right there. And oh, it is pretty and heavy. Oh man, even better, this is 18K, but it's really light, like it's hollow. That's 18 karat though. 925, that's a cool ring, isn't it? That's a 925, but it says RLM Studio, I think it says. That's very pretty. 925. I like this one a lot. This is a 925. That's really cool. 925. Oh, this is another one. I don't see any markings on it. But I think it's silver. I'll put it aside. Look at this guy. That's a 925 silver. That's <laughs> really pretty. This one right here is stainless steel. That's a little different. 925. 925, 925, 925, 925. I know, you're like, get some new material, Jack. You sound like a broken record. 925. <laughs> I can't help it. What else you want me to say? It is 925. All right, how about this? Silver. Okay, there you go. That's silver. See, I didn't say 925. Also, silver on this one. Very, very cool ring. That one's a little different. Silver, gold silver, Vermeil. Ooh, this one's 14 karat right here though. That's not silver, that's 14 karat gold. It's got some weight to it too. This one right here is 14 karat. Oh boy, this is nice. These are hollow rings, but they still have some nice weight. That one's a 925, look at that stone. Very pretty. 925. <laughs> 18 karat white gold, beautiful, beautiful. Actually, that matches the one we found earlier. These are both 18 karat. That is amazing. And it's, and it's big money too. 925, 925, 925. There's another 925 and this one's Takori. Another one, 925, another 925, another 925. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Okay, guys, I'm running out of things to say. All those 925, I should have probably just done that from the beginning. 
and try to lock some of these up. Those are all 925 right there. All right, this is a Kenneth Lane piece here. Another designer costume, very nice. This is another 925, and that is beautiful. Look at that stone, so cool. It's got some really interesting light stuff going on in it. There's a little 14 karat gold earring. I don't know if that's a CZ. I think we have a matching one to that too. Look at this lovely little pendant. That's a cubic zirconium there, and that's 925. There's a couple more 925 earrings with the cubic zirconians. There's some little tiny 14 karat earrings. Very nice. Hopefully those are diamonds. Oh, and the last thing I found the little the matching earring. All right. Yes, yeah, so we got a set. All right, guys. Here is the final uh organization here of the rings let's just put it that way so check this out this middle tray here all silver rings all silver rings there are 96 rings here just in this tray if i counted correctly 96 rings over here is the judith ripka oh i'm sorry and also this is all silver all of this 925 silver these are also all 925 silver just this is that judith ripka stuff beautiful beautiful pieces there's a little pennant was in there for some reason but i believe there was like i don't know almost 20 rings there okay 20 rings back in this little case right here we have all the designer costume stuff a lot of them have designer names on them there's a couple pieces that aren't marked nice stuff there but this right here this is the real excitement this is all the gold so all these pieces here are marked 14k this of course is like a plastic ring but we have a little gold around the edge there on the stone and then right here 18 karat this one was marked 750 that is indeed 18 karat all this right here 18 karat all right so all this stuff well let's say everything except for the gold all these silver rings will eventually make our auctions we're going to do them you know probably a half dozen at a time and all this jewelry over here this will all be auctioned off okay let's uh let's separate that gold and take another look and get some weights okay here's the gold here's all the gold laid out on two trays okay this is all the 18 karat here and that's all 14 karat and this is all 14 karat unless i missed i almost felt like there's another 18 karat piece that maybe got mixed in this piece right here is actually silver and gold so it's a mix kind of a beautiful piece it's a designer piece see that right there michael dawkins 925 and 14k really beautiful piece oh i see the gold is on each side of the pearls nice and the rest of it's silver so that's not going to get weighed with the gold i just put that aside because i think that's that's kind of an exquisite piece right there and there's a couple pieces here like this is leather this is a leather chain with just a little bit of gold a little tiny gold pendant on it i won't weigh that with the gold and oh man some of these like this right here the weight of this is mostly going to be the stone whatever stone that is actually there's a fair amount of gold on there too but i probably won't weigh that this is another one that i'd say most of the weight's going to be in the stone that's a cubic zirconian right there a pendant i'll weigh that there's there's quite a few cubic zirconians in here but we'll weigh that look at this look at this bracelet right here actually i don't know if this is cubic zirconians it's only marked 14k this right here we're gonna have to get looked at. That is, that's pretty stinking nice right there. That could be something a little bit higher end. Those could be diamonds. There's the 14K mark on the end of it right there. Beautiful piece. That's a beautiful bracelet. I'll probably weigh that because, um, I don't know, it's, it's very heavy, mostly stone weight, but there's a lot of gold in there as well. And if those are diamonds, that's, the weight's not going to matter that's going to be an expensive piece all right but there's a lot of little cubic zirconians like in here and in, in the rings of course we have a lot of stones this one right here I'm, i would like to know what that is that's an 18 karat uh this one right here look at this so pretty all right this one does not say quite cubic zirconian right here right we looked at that one already so anyways let me get these weighed up uh let's get an approximate value and i'm talking scrap value of this gold right here
Okay, that's the 14K. Put that aside for now. That's a lot of gold. And now let's do the 18K. Oof, these are beefy. All right, 31. And I just realized I forgot one over here. I forgot this one. That's 14K. Oh, that's heavy too. 27.9. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is the fun part, right? 18 carats easy, 31 grams, 14K. Oh my goodness. 248 grams of 14K. Okay, we might have more than last time. I was looking at these trays. I didn't think we did, but I think we do. So we're going to use the same price as last time. I think gold is going up a little bit, but I'm going to use the same price. $35 a gram for 14K. And that is $8,708. Oh my goodness. This is definitely more than 31 grams of 18K at $45 per gram scrap value. And that is 100, uh, I'm sorry, $1,395 scrap. Hoo, 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 hoo. 8708 plus 1395 equals, oh my goodness, $10,103 total. This is scrap value, okay guys? Now don't get excited, I'm not selling the gold at scrap value. Not to a scrap guy, not to a viewer, not to anyone. These are not scrap pieces, okay? I, I think we only, I don't think we found any broken gold at all. We did only found like three broken silver pieces. The gal took very good care of her jewelry. Only three broke and broken, meaning like a stone popped out or something. Uh, it doesn't mean it can't be repaired. Uh, this stuff here, this is all retail gold. This is not scrap, right? We will not be melting this down uh, by no means would we do that. I am just getting a base base value of how much this was, uh, how much this is worth. Like if I had to liquidate it, if I had to get out of jail tomorrow and I needed 10 grand, I could bring this to a scrap place and get 10,000. Well, they'll usually convert it for a little bit less, but still, point is, boom, that's good. Oh, and let's take a look at last time right here. Last time, 14K, we had 175 grams and 17.5, 18K, so 6,900. So you put those together and we've got over $17,000 worth of gold out of this one locker. That of course is a new record. All right guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Uh, wow, right, wow, wow, wow. I tell you, that's over 17,000 in just gold and just scrap value of gold. I think it's safe to say there's, well, there's gonna be well over 20,000 in retail value, maybe closer to 30,000 in just gold. I don't know, I don't wanna get too out there, but just knowing that the baseline is 17,000, just for the gold, there is so much more silver than gold. There's, if there is, oh, there's almost 500 grams of gold here. 473 between 14K and 18K. 473 grams of gold here. I was gonna say there's hundreds of grams of silver. No, there's uh, probably 2000 grams of silver. And I don't think I'm exaggerating because whew, there might be a lot more because we've already sold a ton. We've already sold most of the silver we found in the first find when we found that jewelry box in the laundry basket. That silver's mostly all sold and some of this silver we've already sold, and I'm just looking at just a hoard of silver. It's crazy. There's, 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 it has to be well over 2,000 grams of silver, maybe 3,000 grams of silver. All beautiful pieces, all going to be appearing in our live auctions. We'll be selling all the silver. Now, there might be a few pieces we'll keep, but not too much. Uh, we love how exciting it makes the auctions to have this, um, this tremendous jewelry, really and all the designer pieces, all that stuff's gonna be there. So make sure you come to our auctions every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific and only on the YouTube channel. But um, we are going to be selling it slowly, okay? We're gonna be probably having jewelry in our auctions, I'm hoping for months to come because we also find so much other stuff. We have all this, you see stacks of clothing back there that we were preparing. We've got sports memorabilia. We just have, we got tons of stuff. We got ephemera sports cards. We have so much stuff every week and this week's no different. So make sure if you're interested in buying some of this stuff, you come to the auctions. But guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, it is overwhelming. I, I just, I get into a uh, kind of a state of shock when I'm going through this because the score is just, it's beyond belief, really. This is so rare to find this. I've never found anything like it. The closest 
I've ever found is that locker I bought with Mike, the storage auction pirate. That didn't have as much jewelry as this in that we split. So uh, that was still a great, great score. But this one, this one exceeds it and uh, it's all ours. So we don't have to split it with a partner and that makes it twice as good, right? Um, yeah, so you were here to uh, see it and I thank you for that. Thanks for watching it. We'll have another video out soon. Um, I don't know exactly what's next, but we're not done with this locker, okay? This locker still has a little bit more secrets to share with us and i would say they're not going to be like big secrets because they are boxes of what says kitchen utensils but you know what all this gold came out of boxes marked plates and dishes so uh you just never know but eh, i don't expect there to be as great as stuff in the next four five six boxes but we'll see that in an upcoming edition all right until then good luck to you god bless you and we'll see you next time here on locker nuts